Hi, it's Bryson here, just enjoying a lovely day in Chicago, uh, right here on the riverfront. Uh, Lake Michigan is in the background, past that bridge. Uh, and just wanted to record a brief video uh, talking about uh, uh, an, inter an interesting theory and concept, uh, which is how uh, quantum physics and quantum mechanics um, uh, are increasingly, you know, the study of quantum uh, physics and mechanics, how it is increasingly uh, making it evident that this world that we live in could truly be something similar to what we call in this world a video game. Now, for many years, uh, we've heard people talk about simulation theory, and, and simulation theory is actually not new. Uh, there have been shamans, mystics, theologians for millennia that have spoken about uh, the illusory nature of this world uh, and so forth. And um, if you have ever done any research into quantum physics or watched any programs about quantum physics, um, one of the bizarre and interesting things about quantum mechanics is that when you get down to the quantum level and you start getting down to these waveform particles you know uh, that go really really deep all of what we think of as the conventional way we think the this physical world works just seems to go completely out the window and these researchers will look at these particles and they'll be like what why is that particle behaving that way they were like we live in this world and we see how this the mechanics of this world work and yet when we get down to this 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 quantum level none of this seems to 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 match with what we think and if you really think about it what i theorize and what i believe at least is that what is happening when these researchers are getting down to this quantum level is that they are essentially getting into the code of this reality. Think about it this way. When you are playing a video game and you are the user in a video game, you're interacting with the world and you're walking through an environment and through a world and you're seeing and interacting with ob and objects and it seems like you're interacting in a very real world. But as we all know, if you get down to the coding of the video game, the code in the video game behaves very differently. And while the video game will create the perception that you are interacting with certain environments, interacting with certain uh, sprites and, 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 and other um, um, uh, uh, beings within the world or whatever, even though it seems like that in the game, in reality, the way the code is, is operating is completely different. And I kind of see it as the same thing with regard to quantum mechanics. We are in a world that behaves a certain way according to the code, but the true code behind this reality in the way it's written uh, 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 is quite different and behaves quite differently, but then just creates the experience of interacting with the world that we interact with. Um, Many of you may have heard of the double slit experiment. If you haven't, I, I advise looking up the new double slit experiment. And um, it's a very complicated experiment, but I'm just gonna uh, truncate it and just uh, and, and just kind of break it down in a really short uh, description. So basically, in short, this experiment took waveform particles um, and shot them at a divider that could, with equal probability, split it into two uh, physical particles, two particles of matter and as they were shooting the particles at this you know it would sometimes go to one particle sometimes go to another but the interesting uh, finding of this research is that unless a conscious being is paying attention to the process of this waveform particle deciding which state of matter it will, it will collapse into it cannot be determined what uh, 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 type of matter it collapses into, suggesting that until a conscious entity uh, pays attention, that this particle remains a waveform uh, particle with the equal probability to become either one of those particles. And therefore, it paradoxically 
exist as both possibilities at the same time. And if any of you know anything about quantum computing, that is uh, basically um, the basis of quantum computing is that instead of going in bits of zeros and ones where the, 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 the bit has to choose an identity, these bits in quantum computing can paradoxically be zeros and ones at the same time. And so if you really think about that, how we are discovering that we live in a world that is waveform particles and that until a conscious entity uh, pays attention to it, it does not collapse into any form of matter. That sounds very similar to a procedurally generated video game. Um, when you play a video game, while it may appear that you are interacting in a vast world, that processor on that console or that computer is not actually processing and generating the entire world as you use it. It is only processing and generating the world that the user is looking at at that time. Meaning that when you are not looking at certain aspects of the world of, say, for instance, an RPG game, it doesn't exist. It, it, it is not being generated. And so when you think about the whole, you know, what the double split experiment suggests, which is that consciousness is actually required to collapse waveform particles into matter that we call the physical world that we see all around us and that we can interact with, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very similar uh, concept. And then you have other aspects of, of quantum mechanics where they find that particles that can be light years away from each other uh, seem to be linked in some way. And even though they seem to be separated by physical space, as is perceived in this world, that they seem to be connected in some way. Now, let's think about video games again. When you are playing a video game, you're interacting in an environment. You see different objects, like, for instance, those picnic tables. Uh, we have some buildings behind me. We have uh, the, the water of the people that are walking by. And... When you are interacting in a world in a video game, the user um, perceives that they are interacting with objects that are separate, but in all truth and all reality, it's all the same game being processed. So there's no degree of separation in reality if you get down to the code of the video game. And so that's very similar in many ways to, to, to quantum mechanics where objects seem apart but they're actually together uh, Albert Einstein didn't even want to touch it that when, when, when you know quantum physicists were, were discovering these, these, these anomalies and these phenomena he called it spooky action at a distance but the truth is in my opinion that there is no distance because just like in a video game where you are interacting in an environment that seems to be this expansive environment of objects that you're interacting with that appear to be separate, but in reality, they are all the same code being run, the same formula being run to create the perception. I see the, the real world, the real world as similar. So um, I hope that that made sense because sometimes I just kind of ramble on and, you know, obviously, it's just a theory, but um, I do believe that there is some pretty substantial evidence that suggests that something like that could be the case. And of course, you know, saying that this world is a video game is, is, is obviously an understatement because, I mean, it would be a very advanced video game. Um... But I do believe that it is something similar to that, that this, this, this world is an illusory place. And you, the person who is watching this video, are a player in that video game. You are a multidimensional being that is from a totally different dimension who is playing a game. And this game is designed to seem realistic. But I don't believe that it is real in the sense that we believe reality is. It, it, it is. it is some sort of projection of some sort. So 
I hope that that was um, this was an interesting video to some people. I love to hear some uh, opinions and, uh, and other theories uh, on this. And um, most importantly, I hope that whoever's listening to this video uh, or watching this video uh, has a lovely uh, rest of their day. And uh, please subscribe and please, uh, uh, please, like I said, put some stuff in the comment section. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.